Malcolm, just the way the defense played on this night as opposed to what happened in South Bend, I know you guys were healthier, but still, it seemed like you guys really came out wanting to send a message. Yes, sir. We definitely bought in a lot in the past weeks and focused really on just dominating and trying to get as many turnovers as we can, some big sacks, and just dominating as a defense and playing physical as possible. Malcolm, I just asked James about your play in Trenton Simpson and the, the true freshman, the way you guys have stepped up lately. What's it been like for you to go through this season? Obviously, with COVID-19, you're dealing with being tested. But, you know, just your maturation as you've moved through to what will potentially be a college football playoff matchup. This season definitely, I feel like, taught all of us patience and just always being ready for the job and whatever life brings us because 2020 has been a crazy year and you always had to be ready at all times. And we always had to be patient as a group and as a freshman class, really all of our times just come up when it does. And we just have to be ready when the time comes and great preparation and learning and buying into what the program is trying to teach us. We'll be ready at all times. Hey Malcolm, this is uh, Trevor Gross from CUTigers.com. Uh, sorry you've been asked this already, but it was kind of was it kind of surreal for you just uh, to be out there as a, a freshman um, playing as much as you were and, and making so many uh, big plays. In all honesty, it wasn't all it wasn't much surreal. It's something that I really saw for myself coming to Clemson, but I just feel that without my coaches and without everybody else that bought into me and poured into me in the program, I wouldn't be here today and the people from my hometown in Holly Springs, Richmond, Virginia. I don't feel without my family and those people out here today. But I always saw myself making it here and making it farther than I've come. And I'm just ready for whatever comes to me in life. Malcolm, there's a very good chance that if you guys hadn't performed like you did tonight, you would have had to sweat it out tomorrow in terms of the uh, the watch party, the selection show. What's it like going to bed at night knowing that, that, that you're set? It's amazing. We really work for it, and I'm excited for whatever comes in the next coming weeks, and I'm sure that we will prepare and buy in once again to finish, and that's the job, to finish. Malcolm, it's Trevor again. I know you um, have a, a good relationship with uh, Kayvon Wallace. Uh, did you talk or text with him leading up to this game, or, or have you uh, heard from him already uh, after the game? I actually talked to him a couple of weeks ago. We both had to step into a, a bigger role for our teams at pretty much the same time. And we just always talked about being ready for the moment and being yourself on the field and not changing for nobody when it comes to being passionate about the game and pouring everything that you got into every play. And him and also my older brother, Mike Green, just always bought into me and made me really focus on being great every play. Hey, Malcolm. Lawton Swan again. Obviously, you guys had some injuries the last time you played Notre Dame. That's well documented. But what went right tonight, in your opinion, uh, that helped you guys do what you did in the second and third quarters against them defensively? I feel like physicality and also having a Zoom focus on the play that we were in at all times and not worrying about the score, not worrying about where we were at in the game, the quarter, and other situations, just worrying about the down and distance personnel and what we've been looking at all week and focusing on the tasks in front of us and being physical as possible, just trying to dominate up front. I feel like that really helped us as a back seven and as a full defense. We played great up front. We had a great game. Anything else for Malcolm? Malcolm, it's Trevor again. Uh, how crazy was that locker room after the game? And was it the craziest that you've seen in your young career? Uh, it wasn't the craziest thing I've seen, but it was just it's just always great to see a group of guys just that have all bought in and have a big love for each other. And just uh, enjoy a moment like that with each other is priceless. We always had moments like that back in high school we were in a lot of championships, but a moment like that with a big comeback win, revenge, that's what I can say. Like that's a great moment. Irreplaceable.